Okay, so here's a tutorial on doing um, ADR recording in Pro Tools using the loop record function and using the playlist comp function. So first thing we want to do is get our video. In this case, I have one here. I just grabbed an MP4, but because Pro Tools mainly handles MLV files, you always want to convert to an MLV. Um, I would recommend doing H.264 as the codec. So um, I'll show you in one sec. I'm um, opening QuickTime Pro here. So I'm going to go to Export, um, Movie to QuickTime Video, Options. And in the settings, I uh, choose H.264 generally. Um, it's a good, you know, quick codec, and it's a small file size. And then the actual size, you can either keep it as is if the video is not too big, but if it's a huge video, you don't want to use all your CPU processing just for the video. So make it uh, a manageable size. In this case, I just have um, some custom dimensions, but you can choose even like 720 by 480. That should be okay. The sound, you don't need to do a high, you know, a super high sound quality um, because we're just going to be using the uh, sound for reference. So I'm just converting it. Um, I'm putting it into the video files folder within the session folder. That'll make it easier later on the, down the line. You won't lose the video because sometimes Pro Tools doesn't keep track of videos too well. So I've already converted it. So we'll just go in here and on my Mac, I'm going to do Shift Option Command I. This is going to bring the import video dialog box up. So just navigate into your video files folder and you can import to a new track at the session start and import the audio. Okay, so now we have the video in the session. And the first thing I'd recommend doing is you want to look over here at the frame rate to make sure that the frame rate is correct. Um, if you press Command and then 2 on the number pad, that will bring up this session setup, which is also available under Setup, Menu, and then go to Session. And you'll notice over here, here are all the different frame rates. So if it's on the incorrect frame rate, it will be red over here. And that's a, a bad sign. So you want to make sure it's on the correct one. We'll set it to 24. That means we're good and we're locked in. The next thing I'd recommend doing is click here and change it to blocks. Now, this isn't such a big issue if you have a really you know great computer that will be able to handle all that. But as you can see, what it does is it creates new video stills every time you minimize or maximize. So it can take up a decent amount of CPU usage. So I would just change it to blocks for now. Um, and now we have this reference track over here. So um, we'll listen down, but we're really just going to record the last line of dialogue. It was a trick question. The tool most important to humanity's survival wasn't any of the nine in the box. Go on. The most important tool is respect. Ha! Gay! So we're just gonna be ADR um, recording this line over here. Ha! Gay! So I'll just chop it up um, to make sort of a marker. And so the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that Pro Tools is set in loop record mode. So you can go to options, make sure it's on loop record, and you'll see over here this loop appears next to the record button. Uh, the next thing we're going to do, because we're going to use the playlist comping feature, is go into Preferences, Operation. Make sure this dialog box is checked. It says automatically create new playlists when loop recording. So this is going to be a huge uh, tool that we're going to use down the line to make things a lot easier. So um, the next thing we want to do is to give the voiceover talent a little bit of rhythm. We want to choose a little bit of the area before and after. So it's not you know just rapid fire the same line over and over again, that they're able to ease into it and develop a rhythm based on that. Um, so we're just going to play back to see how we're doing. The most important tool is respect. <laughs> Gay! The most important tool. So as you can hear now, is respect. we're developing <laughs> a rhythm. Gay! It's not too monotonous. Um, for example, if I just did this, it would get too monotonous after, let's say, 10, 20 takes. <laughs> Gay! <laughs> Gay! And you can do it that way. It might save some time, but it also might make this session just 
go a little bit it might make things a little bit more difficult and just annoying for everyone involved um, so now we've set up this track I, I just called it Mike's so let's rename this to ADR and we're basically gonna play this back and whenever the voiceover talent is ready they're gonna just come in so listen to it a few times and then they can come in the most important tool is respect <laughs> Gay! the most important tool is respect <laughs> Gay. And now you can try one. The most important tool is respect. Ha! Gay. Gay. The most important tool is respect. Ha! Gay. Gay. The most important tool is respect. Ha! Gay. Gay. The most important. All right. So by now you should get the point. Now we have a bunch of takes. You won't see them here because they're actually. Um, buried within the playlists over here. So you'll, if you go into Pro Tools playlist, you'll see you have each of the different takes now as a different playlist. Now, normally, uh, a lot of people will create a new track and just drag and drop the best parts of each one, or you know, figure out which take they like the best. But there's a really cool sort of hidden function in here. Um, so the first thing we're going to do is create a new playlist, and we'll, we're going to call this. ADR comp so it's just a compilation of all the best parts it takes or if we like one take better um, and then we're going to click on waveform and go to playlists and this brings up a really cool menu and um, you'll see why it's so cool because it saves you tons of time and it just lets you look at everything so clearly so now we have these different ones so we can just for example delete this one like we don't need that because it's there's no dialogue and we'll just drag these up um so we have three takes here um the cool thing is is that when we uh solo this um each each individual track you'll be able to hear it on the main track so let me take this out of input <laughs> good Gay! Ha! Gay! Ha! Gay! So, um, we have some stuff to work with. So, the first thing we we'll want to do is just make sure we got a take that has good timing. You can sort of nudge it around a little bit, um, or, you know, if you want to just take this first line and chop it, press B, nudge it a little bit, or, you know, with here, with the mouse, um, you can do that. Um, but we don't have to get into that into this lesson. Um, we'll just go over comping. So the first thing I'm going to do, let's say I like this particular read of the just ha. ha. So select that and then you'll see this arrow over here. Just click that and that will pop it up to the main comp track. Now let's say I like this line over here. Gay. Uh, let's choose, let's see what this one sounds like. Gay! That one's definitely pretty pretty solid. So um, I'm just gonna drag it. I'm gonna press Control up to enlarge the waveform so I can see how it compares to the original a little bit better. Um, and then we'll push it to the top. So now you can click here and go back to waveform that will bring us back to our normal familiar menu let's go up here and enlarge the track with control up and we'll notice uh, it's not quite in sync just judging by the waveforms so let's shift it you can nudge it with the nudge key which is minus or plus you can set the length of how long you, or how uh, big you want to nudge it by clicking up the nudge over here so let's set it to, I'm on time code, let's set it to a quarter frame. So now we can sort of slide it. Um, now we'll listen to it with the original. <laughs> so it's pretty dead on. Now this one might be a little bit trickier. So let's see how this sounds together. Gay! So a little bit long. Um, so what I'll do here is I'll time compress it a little bit. So I'm going to click here. I'm going to, uh, this is the elastic time, uh, allow you to time stretch without being destructive. 
let's click here. I set it to polyphonic because it's the highest quality time stretch algorithm, even though it takes a little bit more CPU use. And then you want to do command two until you get this little time thing. So this will shift through all the different bracket tools. Now we have this selected. I can do this non-destructively and I'm just dragging it back a little bit. Gay! So it sounds pretty uh, dead on. So I'm gonna go out of the bracket tool now, back into the normal tool, and then I'm gonna do Command-7 to go back into the multi-tool, which I always like to use because it makes everything a lot quicker. I'm gonna play back with the original. Respect. Ha! Gay! That's, that's pretty dead on. So now let's unmute both. And we'll just mute this one. So we have our new line in now. Obviously, it's not really going to match, but let's let's uh, hear just how it sounds as it is. It was a trick question. The tool most important to humanity's survival wasn't any of the nine in the box. Go on. The most important tool is respect. Ha! Gay! So that's it. Um, that's basically how you do ADI record. Um, and a lot of it is also how you manage the voiceover talent. You keep things like really light and give them some time in between the reads um, just so everyone feels comfortable because it's a really monotonous process, especially if you're doing long films. So I hope that helped you. And uh, that's the end of my tutorial.